Hello everyone and welcome to the preview of the 2016-17 Northwood University men's basketball team. I'm Travis McCurdy, joined by the head coach of the Timberwolves, Jeff Reckaway. And coach, looking at your team this year, there's going to be some new place, people in new places and uh, you got some guys that are going to have to step up for you guys to have a successful season. A lot of new faces and, and certainly miss uh, with four seniors last year and over 40 points uh, that, that we lose and have to make up somewhere. Uh, you're right, we have some big shoes to fill. Looking at those guys you lost, though, all, primarily those are backcourt players, the guys that you lost. So your backcourt's going to have a really different look this season. Talk about some of the guys that are, you're expecting to fill some of those shoes. Well, the, right off the top, um, Rel, uh, there'll be a junior that backed up Reese, uh, will be handling the ball primarily. He, uh, he got good minutes last year, but obviously with, with Reese, uh, he played most of those minutes. Positive of that is, is, is Rail had a pretty darn good player to uh, learn from and compete with uh, day in and day out. So that's where we'll start with it. And then we have uh, a freshman coming in, uh, Yuri Prus from Slovenia, that uh, good strength, good knowledge of the game, still adjusting. He's a freshman um, to the college level, but uh, those will be the two guys primarily handling the basketball for us. And then you look at uh, with the loss of Jermaine Myers and, and Dylan Langcable, both, uh, you know, and Jermaine was a combo type player. Uh, Dylan, obviously, a, a score that could score on all levels uh, and it'll be missed. Um, we've got guys that have to step up. Uh, Zach Allred is a freshman, got some good minutes as a sophomore. I think he'll have, take some of that role with Dylan on the scoring. Uh, Nick Spitzley is a junior, uh, again, plays, has played a lot of minutes the last two years. Um, Brad Schaub has to take more of an offensive role. He did a lot last year off his penetration, now kicking to like Dillon or Jermaine, and, and he needs to finish those, and he's been doing a pretty good job there. Yeah, the thing about the, the, all those guys you mentioned there is that they didn't have necessarily the big roles last year, but I think they're all certainly capable of being – very good to great players in this league. Well, yeah, I, I think so too. And 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 as you build a program, and you know, uh, you hope to have guys that can just step in and change their role a little bit. And uh, you know, these would be substantial changes in some ways for these guys, but uh, not something that we don't think they're capable of doing. And and have shown a lot of uh, promise in practice to this point. Looking up front, you've again, you've got some guys that are going to be in news positions. Matt Crowell has been back and stuff like that. But talk about your post players and what do you expect out of them this season? Well, you know, again, Casey Boyle uh, being a four-year guy for us, uh, um, really good leader, probably a better leader than basketball player. And that's not taking anything away from, uh, from Casey, but he worked really hard at the game. Um, and uh, we're going to miss his vocal leadership. And having said that, we always felt last year that uh, Casey and Matt Crawl, who now as a junior eligibility wise for us, were two of our better vocal leaders. And Matt has not missed a beat on taking uh, that vocal leadership, uh, but he's also been really good. His game has really developed. I mean, he's gone from a guy that maybe a little off balance, you weren't sure that we could throw it in and score to being really consistent scorer and finisher and able to step out and uh, he's really taken a step up from where he was and I don't know if it's because now you know Casey's not there it's just one of those things where he knows he has to get there but um, been very pleased with where where Matt is and then um, you know we had David uh, Yelenik, uh freshman from Czech Republic uh, very skilled again freshman but very skilled, and those two have been competing really hard. And then uh, Charlie Ryan, uh, who's back, and one of the our best effort guys consistently. And if he can get to where um, he understands spacing, role, just those kind of things, then he's going to play a role as well. Looking ahead to the season, the GLIAC is always extremely competitive and Top to bottom, it's always really tough. What are you looking at for the GLIAC this season? You know, 
it, there is not a day or night that you can just go into a game and, and think you're going to win. Um, in fact, I would venture to say most teams are feeling like we're that team that they're going to be able to come in and that's a, a win when they look on their schedule. And that, um, so our challenge is going to be to uh, on the execution end and the toughness end. And, and if uh, we're very seldom are we going to step out on the court and out talent anybody. Um, so it's going to have to be that, that toughness execution. And uh, we've been working hard at it. Our leadership's been good. Um, our defense has to be consistent. I, I think I did a poor job of coaching last year the team. I thought we underachieved. And I think we ended up 16th in the league defensively, which I've not had many teams that have done that. In fact, probably the first that's done that league-wise. Um, at any level so I need to do a better job and uh, and get our guys on a consistent basis effort wise well coach we're looking forward to just a few weeks away now good luck this season and thanks for joining us really appreciate it Travis